Microsoft announcing some new enterprise AI tools today, launching 10 autonomous agents to help businesses with things like sales, customer service, or accounting. And that'll be available for public preview beginning in December. Our dear Dubosa has more on how this could be the next leg in the AI race on today's Tech Check. Hey, Dee. Hey, good morning, Carl. So AI agents, yes, shaping up as the next leg, battleground, buzzword, and enterprise AI. Microsoft's announcement, it comes just days ahead of the general availability of Salesforce's competing agent force, and it pits these two companies against each other since they're essentially doing the same thing with these tools, which is creating virtual employees or supercharged customer service chatbots that can automate tasks. Now, they're both hoping as well that agents can better sell their tools, and they're promising that it'll deliver better results as well. As our Steve Kovac has reported, Copilot has underwhelmed customers. But the big question now is whether agents will be able to live up to expectations. And those expectations are certainly building, led by who other than Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff, the great hype man himself. Leading up to this release from Microsoft, Benioff has been taking every chance he gets to slam Microsoft's current Gen AI product, Copilot. The pilot experience for so many customers has become the Clippy experience. What I mean by that is they're just not getting the value that they want. We just don't see Copilot as that key step for our future. In some ways, they kind of looked at Copilot as the new Microsoft Clippy. And I get that. And again, on Friday, posting to X, Clippy, Copilot rather, is more like Clippy 2.0. He really does not like Clippy. And for those that might not remember, this was this paperclip shaped assistant in Microsoft Office from the late 90s and early 2000s that gained a reputation for being intrusive and annoying and not particularly useful. Benioff, meanwhile, mentioned the word agent 65 times on his last earnings call the year ago quarter just five times microsoft and i found this interesting guys was actually talking about agents a year ago as well but hasn't been pushing it as much on earnings call today's announcement that is a major acknowledgement that it wants to be seen as this new more innovative agent space nvidia meanwhile kingmaker and gen ai has also been talking up agents more both on earnings calls and outside of them on the gerstner girly podcast about a week ago jensen Huang envisioned NVIDIA as a 50,000 employee company with 100 million AI agents. So keep an eye out this upcoming earnings season. The mentions of agents could rise dramatically, guys. A year ago, maybe it was all about chatbots, but this year it's going to be agents on the earnings calls. Meanwhile, I was looking at uh, Goldman over the weekend, boosted their Microsoft CapEx forecast for 2027 to 82 billion dollars d they are spending on capex more than any other hyperscaler it's a great point and that raises the stakes right that is why they're putting out new products and hoping that there's going to be better roi for their customers because i've we've sort of seen reported um copilot hasn't necessarily lived up to the expectations but an agent is a different product it can automate tasks so it should supercharge productivity and hopefully certainly salesforce and microsoft and others in the enterprise space are hoping that companies start to see better efficiency better top line growth, better earnings power, and agents may be the one to unlock that, but we'll see. It could also be overhyped. We were just figuring out chatbots. Now we've got to move <laughs> on to this. Uh, Dee, great story. Thank you, uh, Deirdre Bosa. Thank you.